Good evening and welcome. You're watching the news at 8 on NDTV. I'm Sarah Jacob. Let's get you up to date with the day's top stories. First, marking the 125th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Prime Minister Modi today inaugurated the hologram of Bose at the India Gate where the statue of the British monarch King George V once stood. Prime Minister Modi said that his government was honouring the forgotten heroes of India and added that India was now correcting mistakes made in the decades after independence. ये दुर्भाग्य रहा कि आजादी के बाद देश की संस्कृति और संस्कारों के साथ ही अनेक महान व्यक्तित्वों के योगदान को मिटाने का काम किया गया लेकिन आज आजादी के दशकों बाद देश उन गलतियों को डंके की चोट पर सुधार रहा है बाबा साहब आम्बेडकर से जुड़े पंच तीर्थों को देश उनकी गरिमा के अनुरूप विकसित कर रहा है स्टेच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी आज पूरी दुनिया में सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल के यशगान की तीर्थ बन गई है भगवान बिरसा मुंडा की जयंती को जनजातीय गौरव दिवस के रूप में मनाने की शुरुआत भी हम सब ने कर दी है और नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस के जीवन से जुड़ी हर विरासत को भी देश पूरे गौरव से संजो रहा है नेताजी सुभाष जिन्होंने हमें स्वाधीन और संप्रभु भारत का विश्वास दिलाया था जिन्होंने बड़े गर्व के साथ बड़े आत्मविश्वास के साथ बड़े साहस के साथ अंग्रेजी सत्ता के सामने कहा था मैं स्वतंत्रता भीख की भीख नहीं लूंगा नेताजी सुभाष की ये प्रतिमा हमारी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं को हमारे पीढ़ियों को राष्ट्रीय कर्तव्य का बोध कराएगी आपदा प्रबंधन को लेकर जिस तरह का रवैया रहा था यानी जब आपदा सिर पर आ जाती थी तो उससे बचने के उपाय खोजे जाते थे ऑल राइट लेट्स लुक एट द कोविड नंबर्स राइट नाउ डेली केसेस सीम टू हैव स्टार्टेड क्रॉसिंग द थर्ड वेव पीक्स इन मेट्रो सिटीज फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट द गुड न्यूज कमिंग आउट ऑफ मुंबई मुंबई हैज सीन अ ड्रॉप इन केसेस फॉर द फिफ्थ स्ट्रेट डे 2550 new covid cases have been reported in mumbai that's 28% down from yesterday the positivity rate down to 5.5% down from 7.15% 24 hours ago in delhi 9197 new coronavirus cases have been reported in the last 24 hours the positivity rate has fallen to 13.32% new cases have also decreased and the positive positivity rate has also decreased by 3% yesterday it stood around 16% 34 patients though died in the last 24 hours yesterday it stood at 40 Chennai too has seen cases falling in the last 3 days and Kolkata's daily cases are down nearly 500% from the peak of the wave 3 And the Omicron variant of the COVID-19 is in the community transmission stage in India and has become dominant in multiple metros where new cases have been rising exponentially that is what the government's genome panel has said the genomics consortium checks variations in coronavirus across India to help understand how it spreads how it evolves and to suggest the best possible public health response and the covid-19 pandemic has taken a huge toll on retail businesses uh, the industry has been facing substantial shifts with diminishing footfall in commercial marketplaces and let's get you this report from uh, bangalore to just uh, for us to get an insight into just how hard the common man on the street has been hit this is commercial street one of the biggest commercial hubs in bengaluru in karnataka the 550 meter stretch hosts about 489 shops 
this street that was once bustling with crowd has very few people shopping. According to an estimate by the Commercial Street Organization, they have incurred a loss of 400 crore rupees in the last one year alone. The first wave and the second wave saw through a lot of, lot of uh, small-time shops closing down. But at the same time, uh, there were other hopeful uh, people who were trying to grab these opportunities of low times. The bigger brands? The bigger brands or, or uh, the people who had the sustaining power. Nearly 15 mom and pop stores have brought their shutters down and the bigger brands have grabbed the opportunity of expanding the business into these stores. See, there was another store selling saris and uh, salwar kameez sets. Probably they couldn't survive and they couldn't uh, face the pandemic. The rent was very high and uh, see, it's, uh, it's the survival of the fittest. Correct. And we have just opened the store about, uh, we took the store about five months ago. Oh, we had to close down our store, of course, because things uh, were tough to make uh, meet. Yet another upscale commercial hub in the city is the Brigade Road. Stores are vacant. The 400-meter stretch that used to host about 125 stores has seen nearly 35 stores shutting shops, with an estimated loss of rupees 200 crores in the last 12 months. Uh, retail should have lost uh, now, uh, anything between uh, 250 crores to 300 crores over here on, on, on the street. And big, big retail stores which have been uh, in business from the year 1900 have shut down. And anybody who tries and comes and opens a business over here will have to shut down in six months' time because the, the footfall is not there. The retail business is not there. The retail business, it's a mixed response in the city of Bengaluru. In fact, bigger brands have expanded into mom and pop stores, while some of the bigger brands have had to shut shop, especially in Brigade Road. This is due to high rentals and also lack of footfall. Some of the shopkeepers that we had spoken to, to the mom and pop stores, what they say is that they would make a comeback, especially to the commercial hubs once the pandemic ends. In Bengaluru, with camera person Kumar, Shrija for NDTV. And the former Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh announced his new party, the Punjab Lok Congress's first list of candidates from 22 consti constituencies for the February 20th state elections with the former captain of the Indian hockey team, Ajit Pal Singh, among the prominent names. Amrinder Singh is to fight from his home constituency of Patiala Urban. Look, I don't want to discuss Mr. Sidhu because Mr. Sidhu is no really unstable. Care. From day one I have said the man has no brains, he is nothing. He is just a, just a waste of time. And the Aam Aadmi Party's Chief Ministerial Face Bhagwat Man was in Dhuri today from where he is contesting the polls by fielding its Chief Ministerial Face Bhagwat Man from Punjab's Dhuri constituency. The AAP seems to be sending out a strong message to voters by installing party heavyweights as nominees in the politically significant Malwa region. The Dhuri Assembly segment falls under Man's Lok Sabha constituency Sangrur and it had helped him garner the maximum number of votes in the 2019 general elections and DTV's Sharad Sharma spoke with Bhagwat Man. Listen in. Punjab mein Aamadhi Party ke Mukhya Mandri Umidwar Bhagwat Man Mukhya Mandri Umidwar ghojit honne ke baad pahli baar apne nirvachan shetra dhuri pahunche hain yaha par log jo hain unka swagat kar rahe hain Man sahab bhoat bhoat swagat hai aapka NDTV par kya lagta hai ke kitni umid hai aapko ke aapki dhuri Punjab ki rajniti ki dhuri ban paegi dekhe dhuri walo ne jab bhi humne unko kisi baat ke liye pukara unhone dugna tigna pyaar diya Dhuri अपने रिकॉर्ड तोड़ना जानती है 2014 में धूरी 30000 से ऊपर जीते थे 2019 में फिर 30000 से ऊपर जीते थे तो धूरी के लोग हैं अपने लोग हैं हम तो पंजाबी में कहते हैं इको पत्तन दा पानी पीने हां सो हम लोग सब मिलजुल कर रहते हैं जितना भी पैसा एमपी लेड का आया मैंने नौ के नौ हलकों में बराबर उसका बंटवारा किया और धूरी के लोग इस बात से खुश हैं कि हमारे हमारे कस्बे हमारे गांव के नाम पार्लियामेंट में जब बोले जाते हैं तो उनको मान होता है कि हां हमरा हमारा लड़का है हमारा ही बेटा है हमारा ही भतीजा है ठीक है 14 और 19 में धुरी में आपने अच्छी लीड बनाई लेकिन 12 और 17 पिछली दो बार से यहां कांग्रेस जीत रही है नहीं 12 में तो पार्टी नहीं थी पार्टी नहीं थी ठीक है 17 में हम थोड़े से मार्जिन से 1500 के मार्जिन से 
धूरी सीट जो है रह गई थी हाँ। लेकिन उसके बाद फिर एमएलए होने के बावजूद भी तीस हजार से ऊपर जीते तो जो एमएलए बना उसके उसकी करप्शन में इतनी इन्वॉल्वमेंट के इल्जाम लग रहे हैं हाँ। के मतलब लोग कह रहे हैं यार कमाल है मतलब एम बनते ही कोठियाँ शुरू हो गई बड़ी बड़ी गाड़ियाँ आ गई बड़े बड़े महल बन गए हाँ। तो लोग ये चीज पसंद नहीं करते जैसे आप बता रहे हैं कि इतनी लीड बनाई तो उससे ये भी पता लग रहा है कि एक सेफ सीट है पिछली बार आपने सुखबीर बादल के खिलाफ जलालाबाद में टक्कर दी थी आपकी पार्टी ने बड़े बड़े चेहरों के खिलाफ बड़े चेहरों को उतारा था तो इस बार ये लग रहा है की सब सेफ चलना चाह रहे हैं कोई बड़ा उम्मीदवार बड़े उम्मीदवार के सामने नहीं जा रहा आप खुद जो है संगरूर से चन्नी साहब ने कल चैलेंज किया है के भगवंत मान मेरे खिलाफ चमकौर साहब से लड़े हाँ। वो तो रिजर्व सीट है मैं वहां से लड़ नहीं सकता मैं चन्नी साहब को आग्रह करता हूँ आ जाओ दूरी आ जाओ देखते हैं ठीक है लेकिन आ, आ, इस बार आप आपने किसी को बड़ी चुनौती नहीं दी खुद आप, अपनी जगह आप नहीं मेरा हल्का है जी मेरा इलाका है मेरे मेरे लोग हैं मेरे चाचे ताए भतीजे हैं हाँ, हम हम यहाँ कोई वोटर की हैसियत से नहीं मैं इनको देखता मेरे 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 परिवार के मेंबर है ठीक है कितनी सीट जीतने का अनुमान है आपका अभी देखो प्रचंड बहुमत आएगा झाड़ू जब चलता है ना तब सफाई अब तो कोन कोने भी नहीं बचेंगे कोनों में भी सफाई होगी और 11 मार्च 10 मार्च को देखना इसी समय तक आप जो है वो बता रहे होंगे कि पंजाब हुआ आपका ठीक है लेकिन नंबर्स अभी आप जो है नहीं कर रहे हैं 80 से ऊपर 90 से ऊपर अब इनको क्या मैं इनके दिल की क्या जानता हूँ इन्होंने ठान ली तो ठान ली ठीक है And there was a massive protest by students in Assam's Nagaon today against the police after cops shot a former student leader on the suspicion of being a drug peddler. The incident took place on Saturday night. The protest says students, uh, the protest saw students blocking a highway, raising slogans against the Assam police, the Nagaon SP, for alleged brutality against this former student leader. The Assam police claims that they acted on a tip-off about drug peddling and that uh, the student. attacked the police too now, over the past few months nagao has seen a series of operations against drug peddlers many encounters resulting in deaths and injuries this comes at a time when there's a case going on in the guwahati high court over an alleged uh, al- over several alleged fake encounters by the assam police and also the nhrc the national human rights commission are also investigating similar petitions all this while the chief minister mamta biswa sarma defends the police it has now though snowballed into a major issue with the main opposition party the congress claiming a police raj in the state a uh, cornered government has now ordered a probe son kori ghore goche ghore dwar time ma ke medicine ta ani bol bol pahori gol medicine to loi ghore rak paise ke matro loge loge police gai go ta guli gori the tar gat police pot ta jitu loi ekhon tamul porjonto na khay nisa bostu ekun na khay नगा कलेज जे थे बिना तो मारे पुलिस के गुंडा राज पुलिस फायरिंग इन्सिडेंट इन नगा आई हेव अलरेडी कन्स्टिट्यूटेड वन मेन इनकुआर कमिशन लेड बडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटर पवन ब ठाकुर हि हेज बीन आस्क टू गिव रिपोर्ट उद इन सेभेन डेज मीन वाइल दफिसार्स कन्सार्न उल वि क्लोज टू रिजार्व इफ उ फाउंड that police has done wrong with the innocent person uh, action will be initiated immediately here for anything and everything our chief minister has openly remarked in the house when we raised this issue that i have asked them to make it a pattern and it is happening like that and uh, it is very unfortunate that when somebody uh, going to buy medicine he will be shot and uh, police will uh, say that he was peddling drugs and all so this is uh, like police rush and uh, will not let it happen hetu ami je age khobor paisile amar yat khobor paisilo ki ei mei morot lora guli ajikale ki hoyse jeta drugs or against the man hoyse to je thikana guli hokol bond hoyse tetia goi jetia ei manu to tar charge for you be tuned
The approach of simplicity is sadly uncommon and yet the best approach to making a product. Based on this approach is the Fitbit Charge 5. It does not go for the bells, the whistles, the headliners. It aims to be the fitness tracker that is simply excellent, accurate and does exactly what it is expected to do. And in the next few minutes, you will know how it does all of this and more while being the most to the point tracker you will find today. The design of the Charge 5 is basic and practical. It comes with a screen up front with a considerable amount of bezels above and below the display. The sides come with sensors for EDA and ECG function of the tracker. The rest of the casing is made out of stainless steel which provides the durability one needs from the fitness band while they work out. The bands come with quick release latches and that is pretty much it. The screen, the sensors, the band with no sign of buttons. Up front is a 1.04 inch colored AMOLED display. It looks sharp and has the brightness needed to be usable under the sun. And since it is AMOLED, the display has an always on feature available. The UI on the tracker is also very simple. Everything works through swipes and taps. Swiping left or right opens different apps on the tracker like notifications, exercises, alarms, timers, EDA scan, ECG. Swiping up shows the today app which lists out the activities stats from the day and swiping down shows quick settings one can access. Pretty simple and to the point. And the aspect that makes this tracker stand out is the sheer number of things it can track. It tracks your workouts, steps, blood oxygen levels, sleep in three different stages, breathing rate, heart variability and skin temperature variation. The Charge 5 does this with complete accuracy. The tracker also has an EDA sensor to check the user's body's response to stress. The tracker can also conduct ECG scans to keep a check on the rhythm of the user's heart. It also comes with GPS insight to precisely track the user's runs and walks. And based on all of these abilities, the Charge 5 can combine different stats tracked and award scores based on these stats. Scores like stress management score, sleep score, daily readiness score help the user in keeping a long-term track of how their health is changing and improving over time. While all of these scores help, not all of them will be available for free as they will need a Fitbit Premium Membership for 100 rupees a month. The membership also provides access to guided meditation routines and guided workouts. However, the user does get 6 months of Premium Membership with the purchase of the Charge 5. But all is not perfect. The lack of buttons can often complicate moving through the UI of the watch. Always on display is a great feature, but it reduces the 7 day battery life on the device to just 2-3 to three days. And the screen itself is way too small for displaying necessary workout information at times. And yet, the simple approach with accurate sensors, useful sensors and great build quality make this fitness tracker one of the very best available. And at the price of 14999 it gets a firm recommendation from us.